Not far up the coast from Palma, passing Arenal and Calablava, El Delta, as it's informally known, is a stretch of well-hidden, dramatic, rocky coastline that can be reached by setting your Google Maps for the rather posh Mares Sea Club, and then by battling your way through thick bushes, over loose terrain, and across large boulders, until you emerge with some twigs in your hair and a few bugs in your teeth at the water's edge. Arriving by the steep road that cuts through and swoops down from the towering cliffs above, you'll be blown away by the truly insane elevated sea views that run off all the way to the horizon. Once at Mares, there's a fair bit of public parking nearby, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. And once out the car, head in the general direction of the sea and choose your route. Venga. There's a lot of flies for some reason. El Delta is certainly not everyone's idea of the perfect seaside excursion. But if you have a phobia of sand between the toes and like dramatic scenery, this should be right up your street. We come here all the time. It's quiet, the water is beautifully clear and fresh, and it always makes me feel like we're having a day at the seaside on some planet featured in Star Wars. Well, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, A, do you have a license to wear that shirt? The answer to that question is yes, I do. The second question you might have is, where the hell are you guys? Are you in some kind of quarry? What kind of place is that to go and sunbathe and enjoy Mallorca's fantastic coast? Well, you're completely right. We are in a quarry, an old quarry, to be fair. It's not active. We don't have JCBs on top of us today. This is actually a place called El Delta. I believe it's called El Delta because it's located near to a hotel called the Delta Hotel, which I've never seen. And it is in fact an old quarry. They uh, in fact used stone from here to build the cathedral in Palma, the famous Laseo. So yeah, we're here in El Delta. The weather's kind of changed a little bit on us, but apparently it's going to brighten up. And I'm going to end this intro right now because I've got to precariously navigate some massive boulders and I don't want to die. It's going to be fun to get in. Ever the optimists, we set up camp in our usual spot to wait for the weather to improve. Honestly, it didn't bother me either way as the grey skies and choppy sea reminded me of days down the beach back in Scotland. An almost identical experience apart from the fact that in Mallorca you can get in the water without instantly succumbing to hypothermia and slipping beneath the waves like Jack in Titanic. We didn't have to wait long for the clouds to break and glorious blue skies to take their place. You know, it's funny living somewhere with 300 days of sunshine a year. One cloudy morning and you feel like you're the victim of some terrible injustice. With Kiki safely on a thick beach mat to stop the spiky rocks turning her into human Swiss cheese, I ventured up the hillside to get an elevated view of the coastline. Sporting sexy sweat patches to drive all the ladies wild, I marched up and down the undulating ground, trying my best not to slip, trip, fall, bash my foot, stand in something yucky or burp. All of which actually happened, but all of which I've edited out to make me look like a well-mannered, nimble mountain man.
This place is what I would describe as one of Mallorca's real, true hidden gems. Not a lot of people know about this place by and large. We've got Mallorcan friends, people born and raised here that don't know what El Delta is. They're like, what's that? W where is it? What do you do down there? News to me, it's truly that well unknown. And we love to come here. Not only is it close to Palma, it's close to our house. It's about a 20 minute drive. And then after parking, a little 10 minute jaunt along the coast to get to the area that we like. It's really a great, great spot. Not so good if you're one of these die-hard sandy beach lovers. Today the weather's been quite strange here. It was very cloudy, very overcast. The water was extremely choppy, extremely stormy, quite dangerous to get into. Uh, actually, and then it really brightened up and it got baking hot like an oven. This place is a fantastic sun trap. You'll get sun from the morning all the way to night. You can absolutely toast yourself here. And like I say, it's very close to Palma if you're based there, so you can nip back home at any time and be in the shower before you know it. Just gonna do my best to navigate this dodgy footing. Oh, phone call. Kiki? Yeah, yeah, I'm just coming back right now, actually. I'll be back in two minutes. Okay? Right, see you in a tick. Okay, ciao. Oh, that was nice. That was Kiki. She was worried that I'd fallen down a ravine and died, or even worse, was just sort of trapped. Like that movie, you know, where the guy got his arm stuck. Oh, he had to saw his own arm off, didn't he? Thankfully, that didn't happen to me today. I have sustained a small injury, though. I did stub my toe in these pathetic little uh, rock shoes that I've got on for jumping about on the beach. Oh, Christ. It's pretty slippy. Yeah, they've got absolutely no grip on them, these. But they are invaluable when standing on jaggy rocks. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and please don't forget to subscribe. It is free after all. Also, leave me a comment. Have you been to El Delta? Or have you got places you prefer to go? Let me know in the comments and I will respond. Pinky promise. Until next time, see you later.